Hi everyone. So this isn't going to be your typical hiking video. We're taking a trip this weekend down to Cherokee, Tennessee. We're staying at a campsite, a uh, campground called Timberlake. So um, I, I typically do research for the trails using Google Maps and um, all trails. So those are the two tools I always look up my trails, uh, check the um, check the topographical features of where we're hiking, any cool things to check out, and I plan the route and the distance. And I thought it would be useful for everyone, anyone who um, hike, does a lot of hiking and is curious about what tools to use online, I'm gonna show you my approach. And um, before we head out on our trip, typically when I do this, I will save the map and I'll show you how to do this using all trails. Um, if you have a premium subscription to all trails, you can download maps to your phone, which you can use offline. If you have no cellular signal wherever you are, it's really useful and I highly recommend it. I don't get paid by all trails. Um, I don't get paid by anyone right now. So um, that's my personal recommendation. I think all trails is fantastic. And um, especially the fact that you can download maps, which is awesome. So I'm today what I'm gonna do before we head on our trip, I'm gonna show you how I do my research using Google Maps, using the layers so you can see the topography of the area you're going to hike, how to find cool features, how to measure the distance around the, the trail before you go hiking so you know relatively what distance. It's not accurate because you have to draw the trail and there's you can't draw the line perfectly but it works out pretty well. Um, you, you'll see what's kind of cool is I'll show you tonight what the trail is going to look like, the distance, and then in my next video of course I'm going to make a trail hiking video and you'll see what um, what that how well that plan worked out we'll see if we can find everything we want to all the cool features there's actually a cemetery out there um, and there is a really cool tunnel that I found so I'm gonna show you how I found all this how I measured the trail so you can use the same tools if you want to take take or leave whatever tips you want so let's get started and I'll show you how to do it all right so the first thing you want to do is go to Google Maps and you'll be searching for the location that you're headed to. So in our case, it will be Timberlake Campground down in Cherokee. It's actually near Cherokee. Here we go, so it's actually located in Whittier, Tennessee. Select that location. Google Maps will locate it and center on it. So there's the campground. Now I'm going to zoom out and take a look at all of the surrounding area. Now before I knew where I wanted to go, um, the way I search is to look for... Um, first I'll zoom out enough where I can see a pretty good range of the area. And then once I have it um, circumference of maybe, we'll say that's, who knows, 100 miles or so, um, I'll do trailheads or trailhead. And Google Maps is pretty good at identif identifying all of the, um, most of the trailheads. It doesn't have everything that, that all trails would come up with, but it gives you an idea of what's in the area, um, if, place like, Smoky Mountains, they're all over the place, and you have some pretty good opportunities. Um, I might start looking around, looking at reviews for some some in the area. This is pretty close to Whittier. Um, scroll through, look at the reviews. This one was when I was originally looking at it. It actually looks decent, but there's some um, off-trail walking up a stream, and uh, it looks like it's not that busy, which... And some low reviews too, so I decided probably not this one during this trip. Um, I looked at some of the trails up near Mount Leconte, um, and we've been on that one quite a, quite a few times. I might do that one in the future for a video, but I wanted to do something different this time, something new. So I eventually, uh, I like water, so walking, hiking near water is fun. I noticed there's some trails here and usually they go in between mountains and the views are 
spectacular. So I started zooming into the, the water area here. And I noticed this come up, something called Tunnel, Tunnel Bypass Trailhead. And when I clicked on it, the reviews looked pretty cool, pretty highly rated trail, some a really neat tunnel that you'll walk, you walk through at the beginning of the, the hike. Um, a lot of high reviews. It looks like a really cool place. And you can see on the map there's a lot of trails in the area. So kind of decided at that point I wanted to explore this area. And what I did, what you do next is click on the satellite view. And that gives you a pretty good, um, well, first enter terrain so it shows you kind of the elevation, topographical elevation of everything. But the trails don't show up too well, so if you click back on satellite, it switches uh, switches on satellite view, and you can also see the mountains. So it's really nice. Uh, this is the perfect view to to plan your 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 hike. So what I want to do is start at the tunnel bypass. Uh, we're gonna walk through the tunnel, and then we're looking for something like an eight or nine mile hike. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is start there, and then start measuring. And the way you do that is um, right click where the starting point is. We'll call it right at the tunnel. Select measure distance. And then you just start left clicking along the trail and it starts measuring your hike. And so potentially we could use this loop for some extra mileage. But just looking at the area, I know if we walk across the ridge line here. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs. This is a, a really, probably a really cool hike actually. Um, good elevation all along the ridge, the ridges there, and then going down eventually to the, to the water. So, and then in between the mountains, this looks really cool. And then if you can, you can see here, if I zoom out one more time, and the map, the satellite map loads again, you can see it's actually a really cool loop goes down to there's a stream down there um, and we can walk all the way up hike all the way up here through the mountain range right in the valley which uh, along a creek which I am assuming that's probably just some really phenomenal views in there uh, of mountains on both sides and then it comes back and you go up up to the top of some um, some elevation climbing here too so there's probably some good views here here along the side of the mountain and then along the ridge here, I bet it's fantastic, along Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek at the bottom, but you're walking along the top of the mountain. So I've decided I definitely, I definitely want to do that loop. I don't know how far it is yet, but we'll measure it and find out. So I'm just going to keep clicking along the trail the way we want to go. So this is called Lake Shore Trail, which is a good sign. That means it goes down to the, um, to the water, at least near the water. Now, as you can tell, I'm not going tiny distances at a time so these curves are going to increase the in if the inaccuracy of the distance but I'm just looking for a ballpark anyway and you can see at the bottom I'm hit, I've hit one mile so far from the tunnel um, see I've cut off some just in that one click I cut off a little bit of, a little bit of distance so again inaccuracy a little bit but it shouldn't be more than half a mile to a mile of total inaccuracy but We'll see when we go on our hike here. And I'm just going to trace the path as, as close as I can. Along here, along the um, up and down through the mountains. And then eventually, you can see we get down. It starts to kind of slope down from this point here. And then I notice, first thing I notice is there's this really cool side trail. It's called this trail is called cemetery access so that tells me there's some kind of cool um, maybe old cemetery out there it's something we definitely probably want to check out so I'm gonna measure that too and we are around just over two miles now and then and then the, the, the trek back for that little side trip just estimated distance here and then I'm going to keep going I'll probably fast forward this video so you don't have to watch me trace the whole trail slowly but this is pretty much what I do for the whole um, the whole loop so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now
Now you can see at this fork, uh, there was a backcountry campsite over here. It kind of disappeared as I got near it, but um, we're probably going to check that out, maybe have lunch there. So I'll put some distance for that side trip, and then we'll keep on tracing the trail um, around the loop. Okay, so I'm approaching the end of the loop now, and I know that from uh, the starting point at the tunnel to here is roughly between, let's say, 1.8 to 1.9, so that's 1.85 miles, and then by the end of this loop here, we've hit 6.34, so I know, 6.36 uh, around there, so I know that, um, that to get back, we have to go another 1.85 miles, so we're looking at... Um, roughly eight miles total six seven eight um, for the entire loop so that's that's a, a pretty good eight mile hike there's elevation gain and drop down to the river some cool off trails to check out some scenery um, and then the walk back is really the only the only you know couple miles we're doubling back which isn't too bad so we get to see a lot of new stuff in a loop and then just walk back all right, so now that you know how to plan out your trip using Google Maps um, with the distance measuring tool like I showed you, um, we're going to take a look at all trails and how you can um, find the trail that you discovered using Google Maps, how to download the trail. So let's take a look. So the first thing you want to do is open the All Trails app. Hopefully you have it installed by now. Just tap the icon to open it and once it loads you can type in something about the area um, that you want to search for alright so I know the tunnel is near Bryson City so I'm going to search for Bryson City North Carolina um, and search through until I find something related to that tunnel at least um, let's see And there we go, Tunnel Bypass Trail right there. Um, just going to see if there's anything else that might be close to it. Maybe it might actually include the trail that I want to hike, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to select that one. And you can see it's using that first loop, and that's the trail. Uh, selected for this one, but that's okay because it includes the map that we need the map area So if I tap on it, you can see it includes the whole um, The whole area including all of the trails in the upper part that I want to go to as well if you zoom out uh, You can kind of pinch your fingers apart or together to see what the map includes and you can see the trail I want to go on is there So this is perfect. I just need need this map on my phone so press the download for offline navigation button at the bottom. And then I always go with the all trails format. Just tap that little down arrow and that'll download it to your phone. Once that's done, you have you can view it anytime offline, uh, even if you don't have a cellular signal. Um, and then um, you can pretty much use it anywhere. So anytime you open this app again, you just have to go to your, uh, from the home page, select the saved icon at the bottom that'll take you to your saved maps, your saved locations, and then you just tap on it to, um, to visit the, to go back to the map that you saved offline. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I need at least, right now, as of the recording of this video, I need 100 uh, subscribers to have a unique URL so that's what I'm shooting for and um, next week I will have the video up of this hike and you can come on and enjoy it with me
Till next time.